Hey everyone, it is me, the Senile Simmer, and today we are doing a speed build. This is the house we started to build, and um, I'll leave the link down below. And this is what we ended up with. Pretty close, not exact, but it will do. Okay, before we get into the speed build, let's talk a little bit. First of all, we are in a place called Rosie's Builder World. And this is a completely empty world where all of the lots are different sizes and all of the lots are flat, which makes it great for loading and great for building on. So I decided to build this house. Unfortunately, the entire file was corrupted and would not save seven hours down the drain, but was able to bring up the file that had the gate that had the house already built on it. So what I did was I came in and just deleted everything bit by bit. I was just going to go back and rebuild it. So we started out, um, when I built it originally, I put in the, where the garage would be first, but rebuilding it I had to knock that down you know because it just doesn't go so this is your basic um, layout yeah so we're gonna add in some walls starting with the first room which is the actually the second bedroom it's four by five then we're gonna add in um, the door entryway the living room area um, a hallway and a bathroom for the little bedroom. Then we're going to add in uh, the entryway coming from the garage. And this hallway is too wide because we don't want our Sims getting stuck. So there is the coming up is the little breakfast nook. And then the kitchen, a nice good sized kitchen here, uh, which is nice. And then we're gonna add in a laundry room and a, oops, I'm going backwards. The laundry room and the master bedroom, which is four by five. And then off from the master bathroom is an ensuite, a uh, master bedroom is an ensuite bath. So that is the layout of the house. And we're putting in a chimney here, a fireplace rather, followed by a chimney building. We're going to add the garage walls back in. Hopefully it actually works. Garage door, inside doors, porch, uh, front and porch putting in some windows, lots and lots and lots and lots of windows. I think they're probably custom content. Uh, then we're gonna go into the kitchen area and show you this. I love this kitchen sink set. Um, it's like a two in one, it's really nice. And then we're gonna put some cabinets along the wall. We're gonna add, for some reason that one doesn't color. I don't know why. Add in the refrigerator, nice matching all the way around. Then we're gonna put some kitchen curtains up. And then we're gonna put an island in. And I learned this technique where you put a half wall and then you put your island. And it's so much easier than trying to get them to, to line up. Decided I wanted the stove on the island just to make things just a little bit different. And yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of a gap there, but uh, when you're actually in the game and using it, um, it's negligible. You really don't even, it just looks like a little bump. Um, like a little small wall. You know what I mean? I don't even know what I mean. So then we're going to put some, a couple of bar stools and we're just going to put a rug in because, you know, a rug is a good thing to have in the kitchen because nobody spills anything. Um, dishwasher, uh, coffee pot, microwave, just little things that make it, you know, cleaning supplies, tools on the wall. Um, just little things that make things uh, look lived in. I'm going to move this 
food processor over to this side because it makes more sense as does this I don't know how they ended up on that side but you know whatever then we're gonna go to the breakfast nook and we're gonna put in this cute little chandelier and well let's put that back in and keep it in the wrong button a little small table some chairs a beautiful rug and some curtains just to make things bright and sunshiny if you've followed my uh, let's build before speed builds before you know that I like to have a pop of yellow in the breakfast nook. just makes everything look party I think all right the next room that I did is this living area put down this rug I don't know why I chose it but I kind of went with it why not and to bring out the bluish color in the rug I put up blue curtains put in a simple couch and table a coffee table TV uh, game system we put a little office area with a desk and a chair and a couple of lamps to brighten things up then we put in a cuckoo clock because I don't know I was feeling old-fashioned uh, a bookcase and a stereo so they have it's a very crowded little spot right here but it's doable okay the next room that I did I believe yes is the master bedroom let's spin this around so we can see what we did in the master bedroom we um, these lights are temporary. I really meant to change them all out, but that's what we ended up with. Put in a green rug, and since I put in that rug, I decided I would put in that bed, a couple of end tables, a laundry basket. As you will see, we do have a laundry room uh, from the bedroom. It's a really weird setup where you have to actually go through the laundry room to get to bed um, or to get to the mm, the ensuite bathroom I'm okay with this because guests wouldn't be using this one they would be using this one but I think I would like to put the door here to the bedroom and if I were living here I would probably change that um, so yeah and then we're gonna put in some green curtains to match and why I have a window on this side and not on this side very lopsided and if you know me, you know that I like to have things even. But that's okay. I can always put in another window and another curtain later. Then we are going on to the other bedroom, which has this burgundy colored rug. So therefore, I went with this colored bed. And we're going to go with red in this room brighten things up a little bit it's kind of a small room but there you go that's that and there is the bathroom oops sorry the laundry room again it's very tiny so I couldn't do a lot as far as uh but we've got some clothes racks and of course the washer and dryer and that's all that really matters then we have the master bathroom over here coming up Gonna put some cabinets in and what else shower toilet medicine cabinet laundry basket sinks mirror I believe yes mirror and uh, just a little doodad on the counter cosmetics and whatnot and that is the master bathroom no curtains because we have privacy windows and then we will do I believe we do this bathroom next yep put in a toilet mirror sink shower laundry basket that's all we have room for there all right so the next thing we do wow the inside is all done I believe we are going to work on the porch area. Um, put in some stairs. I have these neat little rounded ones. I don't know if you can see them. Let me put the 
down here we have the so they match these stone stairs very nicely they have them in wood and whatnot those are custom content but I really like them if you have a smaller um, area for an entrance technically this should have come out one more square and um, because it kind of messed up the roof again if I were going to live here I would fix that putting out some porch lights and a welcome mat I also put the um, uh, what do you call this a burglar alarm on the outside gives you a little advanced warning they don't have actually have to get inside before it goes off I put one on both doors also if you notice that the refrigerator is hiding the smoke detector that is the porch lights there and then I think we can do some landscaping, which I really love to do. Yep. So we're going to put in uh, little rocks to outline our garden. Garden on both sides going all the way back to the breakfast nook. And then we're going to line the walkway as well. And then um, some plants lots of plants I love to have lots and lots and lots of flowers put in um, before I put the flowers in I did line the the walkway in the same tar that I used for the driveway and I added these bushes and some dirt around those because that looks a little more realistic in here I put a combination of a couple of colors of dirt and some mulch and then I continue placing some flowers I also found some really cute outdoor lights that really if you see this in the dark let me put the walls up and you can see um, the difference it's just gorgeous at night so here it is during the daytime and then at night isn't that inviting I just love little tiny lights in among the plants in the garden so that is is that everything oh put that window in there because you know again it's all about being warm and inviting and so i believe that oh i know what the last thing was i did i decided that i like to have all of my sims do gardening so i put in a little um, backyard fence here added some fla some plants that they could start their garden with and a little watering station which is always handy to have. So that is it. Hopefully this one seems, sorry about the confusion and, and whatnot, but hey, it's a cute little house and I didn't want you to not be able to see it. Look at that. As always, don't forget to please comment, like, and subs hit that subscribe button, smash it. And then you can watch the next video and I will see you all on the next one. Bye.